Hey, how's it going? I'm back. Delay Sal we're here with I'm um, Third Movement, bringing another video to you guys. Um, I, I kind of want to talk about um, relationships, right? I, I'm on a lot of different groups on um, on Facebook, a lot of different um, dating groups, a lot of different um, Christian um, Christian dating groups, and one of the things that I see. And I kind of always disagree with is the, is the whole idea of the list, right? They have a list for what your man, or for what your your lady would be. Or just 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 use the word spouse. If you're a man and you listen to this, would be or what your woman would be. If you're a woman and you listen to this, it will be what your man would be. And I never agree with having lists. And I have no biblical um. No biblical reason to believe that I can support through scripture right now. Uh, other than I'm just telling you a little wisdom that 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 I've had from from God. Um, a lot of times God, if we look at the scripture, a lot of times God never does what the people think He's gonna do. A lot of times God never does what the people is ready for him to do. He's God, how dare us really, this is what I see things, how dare I, DeLacy, ever tell God what I want him to do? Right? My, my, my thing is that will be done, right? So when we, when we tell God what to do, we find our limitations. That's the same thing with a list. The limitations that come with with having a list of what what our our, 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 our uh, partner should be. I, I was listening to a radio station. Actually, I, I heard this on the radio station too um, on Friday as I was going to work Friday evening. Um, and the person, some of the calls were like, "Oh, um, the female calls. I want him to be taller than me." That was one thing on the on her list. She was like, they were like, okay, he has to have God. And then she said the second thing was he had to be taller than her. And he couldn't ride motorcycles. <laughs> but the idea of the list is the idea that we can control what God has for us. And never knowing that that list could be what's keeping you single. That list could be what keeping you from finding the man of God. What if you are that person that says, okay, I want him to be taller than me, and you meet somebody that's a little bit shorter than you, but this was the best person you could ever meet, right? Now God, now we're telling God, oh, he has to fit this. He has to be this tall. Now there's some things that I can understand that could be on the list. If you're a Christian and you want your partner to be Christian, that's only that that's common sense. Like if I wasn't a Christian, I wouldn't want my partner to be Christian. Cause I don't want to be Christian. The Bible talks about being equally yoked. Being and, and some people I say, I'm gonna say this too. Some people think take this equally yoked thing too far. I've had conversation with people where they say, okay, well, when you're talking about equally yoked, that means um, not only does that mean they have to be a Christian, but if I'm a pastor, that means she has to be a pastor or he has to be a pastor. He has to be on my level spiritually. And I say to myself, now, 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 now if we go biblical on that, it's true that a man should be the head of his household spiritually. I believe in that. I believe that 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 me 
in my host household, I'm gonna be the the, the pastor. I don't, I, don't, I don't need my wife to have a pastor, and there's bi- biblical uh, reason for that. I don't follow this out of my own device. I read the Bible, and that's what the Bible tells me. I'm the head of my household. That's what starts, and if, if I'm a pastor, my first ministry is at home, and then it's the church. But other than other than that reason, I have no other reason to 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 to, to like men. Like this is something we have to understand, man. You are your your wife's pastor. We out of line with having these women covered by men that's that's not married to them. No man, no man that's not your husband should be covering you unless you don't have a husband. And if you don't have a husband, then you should have a godly father being your covering. And if your father is not your covering, you, you may not have a father. You know, you, you, if your father is not your covering, and then you go find a pastor to be your covering. As a man of God, I don't want to be a bunch of women covering spiritually. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do a whole other video on, on being covered and, and, and being a covering. Because that is, that is very important. But as a man of God, I'm only going to be covering my wife. I only want to cover my wife. Church is not about, we got to understand, and this is going to a whole nother idea, of, that's how I, I think I'm going to cut this show. But church is not about being one man in front and everybody, you know, kind of like, like following him. No, it's about one man who has, who has, who's close to God, who spent time and taking his time and, and getting close to God. And he come and teach you to get close to God. And once you do that, you should be going out and helping others get close to God. There should be discipleship making, but that's a whole nother video. But going back to the list. The list is not godly. Now, this is what I want you to do. And this is what really will change your life and what changed everything about a relationship. You write down a list. And you take that list that you want for your, your you write down a list of what you want your partner to be, and you take that list and you turn it over. And you don't turn that list back over to its upside, to its right side up until you're everything on that list. If you want him to be a man of God, women, then you have to be a woman of God. Man, if you want her to be a, 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 a this and that, you have to be a this and that. If you want her to be a stay-at-home mom, man, then you have to be a man who has a job to be able to afford that. If you want her to be compassionate, you need to be compassionate. Vice versa. So what I'm saying is, wherever you want on that list, make sure you're that what's on that list. The next hour, I'm third movement. I hope I helped you. I hope that you see this as Love and me trying to help you. I'm single, so I, I, I know it's crazy that I'm giving single advice, but just in the times of when I studied and everything, when I say, Lord, I want this and I want that, and he told me, no, nah, that's not what I want from you. What I, what I want you to do is be what I want you to be, and then I will add it. Literally, I'm being the man that I'm supposed to be. I'm trying to make myself be exactly what God want me to be. I want to be a provider so when I see her, I can provide for when I get her, I can provide for her. I want to be the the head of my household. So that means I have to be able to lead my household. So I've been working on being a leader. And when God sent her my way, I ain't got to worry about what she's going to be. I just got to worry about what I'm going to be to her. And that's what love is anyway. Love is outward. Love is not inward. Love is not something that I receive. Love is something I give. The Lace Hour, I'm Third Movement. I love you and God love you. God bless you.